This podcast is sponsored by Happy Warrior Kava. Be a happy warrior, drink, relax, and enjoy the strong and smooth taste of the best selling kava in the islands. Happy Warrior Kava. Aloha and welcome to another episode of HN Overtime, the Hawaii News Now Sports Podcast. We are in the HN Digital Center. I'm Couch and joined as always by Sienna Pilliton, Davis Pittner. What's up, y'all? We're back at it. We're back. <laughs> we're back, it's been everyone. Some time, but we're back. Yeah, we I know back. you all missed us out they there. Did. I know you and did. we're here for you guys. It's been a pretty hectic it's couple busy, of weeks. Yeah. It's yeah. been a first alert. It's non-stop. been a first alert. Non stop yes. first um, alert, guys. Which is yeah. a good transition. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. That's a great transition. Um, we'll get right into it. Um, yes. The last couple weeks, last week in particular, we got hit with that Kona low, which affected one of the biggest state tournaments um, here on Hawaii, the softball and baseball state high school championships. Um, obviously, we're talking about the Division One baseball tournament that got rescheduled to Saturday. It was supposed to be that Friday, last week Friday, moved to Saturday, and then the, the rain, man, just kind of... That was wild. Oh, man. Uh, guys, really yeah, crazy. that was crazy. I remember uh, Kyle and I, like, we parked on the roof, completely drenched. Yep. Like, just completely drenched walking <laughs> back in. Really yeah, that yeah. two-minute walk. Yeah, that two-minute walk on the roof uh, to the elevator. It was it was crazy rain. Kyle and I just absolutely soaked. We were out yeah. there. No umbrellas. No, umbre- no umbrellas. <laughs> just vibes. Just, just vibes. vibes. But, yeah, I mean, that, that was a crazy storm, and what a crazy – outcome yeah. to that game Kyle. Yeah, show us some b-roll Davis. Yeah, there's the b-roll. Aww. I wonder who shot that. Um, you know, I don't know. Courtesy who, of. Who was Courtesy. out there? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean just the entire week rain is kind was kind of the the overarching like villain of the week if we're going to be honest. It was kind of it was good like on Thursday or I mean on Wednesday in the quarterfinals. Thursday got everything got postponed to the next day which was Friday. It's- gloomy it was gloomy look at that i mean i was rain cut, hitting the camera i had the the rain gear on the camera making sure it wasn't wet that was les murakami stadium on thursday as they were trying to get the semi uh, quarterfinals in um that didn't happen and then yeah comes out i mean yeah look at that <laughs> so we had maui and baldwin two mil schools the first time in any sport that Maui teams were facing each other in a state championship game for yeah. the D1 crown. And we were supposed to start at like 1245 because the D2 game between Kamehameha Hawaii and Damien got wrapped up in five innings. Kamehameha Hawaii was a champion, by the way. Um, then it started raining. We didn't start till about 115. And then in the top of the third inning, it started coming down. Like this is right when they had everybody leave the field. Um, it was, you can't really see it on camera, but it was, go- it was going and we had about yeah. a 46 rain, 46 minute rain delay. And then, you know, we were just kind of all the media members there were just like, what's going on? We're going to play it. It's clearing up. Then it would start raining again, clearing up, raining again. And then they put us all into the gym, all the media members and kind of laid it down. Like we're going to do co-champions and both teams are going to get a go-ahead trophy. A um, lot of factors in this decision here. So obviously the weather, and then just with everything being pushed back, there was already pre-planned. So Maui graduated on that Sunday, the day after, and then Baldwin on that Monday. So they already had things planned, and you know, kids had trips after they graduated, so they wouldn't be on island. So pushing it to Maui the following week wouldn't have worked without a full team so just a lot of factors to where they ultimately decided coach champs you know i that's not the outcome i'm sure a high school player would want playing in such a big competition you know big game but i mean isn't it isn't it kind of cool in a way that it was two maui teams especially yeah everything that you know that has happened yeah in maui I think the story itself is great. The fact that out of all seasons, it happened to be this one. Obviously, not Lahaina Luna playing, but like just two Maui teams after everything that Island has been through this year. It's like the story just wrote itself. Like yeah. two Maui teams, it it's never happened for in any sport. So that's huge for the Island of Maui and its people. And I will say even before that, so Friday night, um, Maui had already won St. Louis and they knew they were going to the championship game and Baldwin was playing Kamehameha Kapalama 
and it was just so nice to see I was watching that yep. game, looking out into the crowd when Baldwin would make a good play. The Maui High parents were clapping. Like they, oh, that's it's cool. a historic rival, but they wanted to see Baldwin beat Kamehameha, and they wanted to see both Maui teams go. So it was just like a good feel good moment for me seeing that like Maui is supporting Maui. Yeah. yeah. But then <laughs> with the co championship, it's a win for Maui and for both teams mm -hmm. because this is yeah. huge. Um, obviously, I'm a little biased because. Went to Maui High for Go a little Sabres. bit. Go my Sabres. My dad's an alum there, and no a bias. lot of my family went there. So I'm a Sabres girl through and through. But it just, this rivalry is so big. And yeah. I don't yeah. think a lot of Oahu people, not to pull the Oahu. No, no, I, no, I, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I, get I don't it. think probably a not. lot of people understand how big it is. And so people in Maui are not happy. Yeah. And <laughs> it's no one's fault because mm -hmm. it's not the HHSAA's fault. It just is a once in a lifetime storm that came. Yeah. Like Other nature. It's just on a week that happened to be an outdoor tournament. Yeah. If you look now, it's beautiful it's outside. Gorgeous. The week it before, is. beautiful. It just so happened to, to occur on the wrong week. So no one's fault, but at the same time, I think people can say, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. You, you can, you, you, you understand it better than we do. Just the, just how deep this rivalry mm -hmm. goes between two teams that are very like geographically very close yes. to each other yeah um just yeah what and is I that think like especially baseball like yeah. baseball on maui is huge and i'd say it tops even football and like volleyball and all the other sports i think sure. personally baseball is huge and so maui high won the state championship in 2017 mm -hmm. and so you know and i've caught up with a lot of the boys before the tournament and the head coach and i have a bunch of friends that coach on that maui high team so Obviously, I'm more connected with them than I am Baldwin, but I also do want to put out a little shout out there to Baldwin's head coach, who missed his son's graduation. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard that. That's yes, crazy. He missed his son's graduation. <laughs> That's some to dedication. Stay. It really was, and so and, and my friend had missed, you know, his um really his girlfriend's sister's graduation as well. Just putting it out there that like these teams, you know, with the one game being delayed. Yeah. Told, threw off the whole tournament and then you know obviously ending in a co-championship is yeah. not ideal but shout out to the dedication and the people literally yeah. the dedication especially the outer islands just bringing your family mm -hmm, out there you mm -hmm. know you think you're done by a certain time and you're like oh wait one game t being delayed kind of throws off everything right now you have to take an extra yeah. sick day right. or extend that hotel stay and mm -hmm. that all adds up so shout out to the outer islands the not outer just island, island, for but sure. also like softball yep you know just all the outer island teams for for coming out here yeah. on the yeah. worst week the possible. worst, the week, worst week. week yeah the weather is one thing that yeah. you can't change yeah. at mm -hmm. all and uh i mean probably as an athlete i mean that's not something you ever want to you don't want to share no, 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 <laughs> no, no the no, crown no, no. right no. uh and we always have that like one rival uh in every single wherever we are yeah um i mean still though to reach that level to reach it is you know amazing the championship is pretty amazing yeah what a feat and and especially i mean like to to play maybe devil's advocate a little bit here for for baldwin at least this was like the one year in as many years that maui got the better of them in the league championship mm -hmm. so you know that if they saw that they were on opposite ends of the bracket they wanted to get yes, maui wanted, again yeah. and and you know and i think for maui's sake they wanted to show like hey we're the top dog this year yeah, yeah. we're we're you know we're in charge right now so yeah i just saw you know two big time programs butting heads and um yeah it was it was a surreal I, I, let me tell you when um they had felipe ohastra out there doing pa so shout out to him because the original championship awesome, on yeah. friday was supposed to be on tv but once it got pushed to saturday and to moanalua they weren't able to to broadcast it so he showed up and and he was the in-house pa you know called the lineups you know all that stuff so he had to on the loudspeaker announce co-champs and when i say mixed emotions or mixed reactions <laughs> from the crowd boy i i i was like ooh, i i i felt it too not having any you know you know skin in that game or like yeah. and yeah. things like that so i was like oh my goodness um and i think a lot of people have questions of like so for example softball they all they got, all got postponed on Thursday too, 
and they were able to get the semifinals done in the morning for D1 and D2, and then hold the championships at UH at the Wahine Softball Stadium that same day. And people are like, why don't we just do that for baseball for mm-hmm. Friday? You know, doubleheaders in baseball is not unheard of. So yeah, yeah. they can handle a doubleheader, especially with that amount of time, because doubleheaders are usually like an hour in between. So people are asking that. But you have to understand that softball, they have a lot more fields at their disposal than per se baseball because you know you need a full regulation baseball field yeah. and the the numbers just weren't there so they decided to just hold only semifinals at the less on friday and then push that saturday championship game so a lot of variables it was a very tough decision it wasn't something oh. that they came to easily like they were going back and forth and yeah it was It was just surreal is what I would describe it as, surreal. Oh, yeah. Well, congrats to both teams. Again, they had to shoot their shot. And speaking of shooting their shots, Sienna, you recently did a a story. Want a little air God, riflery? Yes. What, yes. what is talking about that? What is going? That's, that's some big news right it was there. Actually, a lot of fun to shoot. Let yeah. me just say, your yeah. stand-up was amazing too. Shout out to this guy. No, 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 Talk no, no, about no, no. if you guys haven't yeah. seen it, check out the story. Oh, yes. Talk Please about do, perfect, perfect timing. timing. Yes, <laughs> right it there. was. It was perfect timing. We couldn't have rolled it any better. Shout out to this guy. He helped me a lot with this story. He was so. the ultimate sports duo right no. there, everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, this is. It's such a great one to cover because, you know, teams like this don't get a lot of coverage, but they made a huge tournament. So they're heading out to Ohio in a couple of weeks for the national tournament. Um, they play second at regionals. That's the highest Moana Lua has ever placed um, at regionals. And now, yeah, now they're going to um, nationals. I don't think a Hawaii team has gone in the last couple of years. I know mm-hmm. Hawaii has rep- been represented, but it's been years since. Um, and so just speaking to them, they were just so proud and happy. And if you watch the story, they talk about how they're, they're just a family. Like, yeah. they, you know, and they all came from different backgrounds. Um, some had shooting experience. Some just were like, hey, why don't I just try this out? While others, like one girl named Kira, she was just like, I like shooting Nerf guns. Why don't <laughs> I just try this out? And so... It, it just kind of was a cool eye-opening experience for me and I think Kyle as well. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they're raising money because it is very expensive to take the team, but also things you don't think about is traveling with the guns and everything. Yeah, like that, that's a whole you know, you have to thing. package it a certain way. It's very expensive. So if you'd like to donate, go to hawaiinewsnow.com. We have the link posted. Yeah, They would be very, very, very grateful if you did. And I think it was super cool just... Like you said, the family aspect. Yeah. You know how, you know, we all played on different teams. Like your volleyball yeah. team was like, what, 20, yeah. 15 girls. Our football teams sometimes got into yeah. like the 50s or the 80s yeah, yeah, for sure. of body count. There's like six or seven, mm-hmm. maybe 10 of them. Yeah. And they just get so close knit. And honestly, there, there are probably some shots that were not used in the package where the camera just shakes because I was just so not used to just yeah. hearing the, the, These guys the, are ballers, yeah. They're, they're so still and like honed, like the level, locked in. I, yes, the level of focus this takes. And yeah. obviously people can say what they want about this being a sport or not. Like that's not a conversation I'm gonna have. Mm-mm. But um, <laughs> the level of mental toughness and focus and just like precision, right. unlike anything I've ever seen. It, it was it was very impressive. It was so cool. Since I, you know, as the observer over here, yeah. since you guys were there, how like how long does it take to fire a shot? Because I feel like you have to dial in and focus on where you're shooting. And so, yeah, no, not as long as you would think. Yeah. Like, okay. So maybe like what thirty seconds in yeah, between. Yeah. You know, they could do it quickly. Like it's not like it. Inaccurately takes too, yes. right? Yes. So they'll all get lined up, like obviously focus for a while maybe even like 30 to 40 seconds yeah it's really mm. quick yeah it, it's not too bad but wow. also within that time you're like they're so still like you're not moving for almost yeah, yeah. 40 seconds yeah. you know like um and and they were telling me they they have like 60 i think they fire off 60 they have like these pellets yeah 
60 pellets per like round or heat or whatever and they have to do like three positions so what you were seeing in the video was their standing position and then next they're in like on a knee and then next they're flat on Which the floor. Which is crazy. Yeah. So like, not, I think the knee would be the hardest. Yeah. Like, like I, don't, I would be. Oh my yeah, god. I don't have that kind of balance. <laughs> yeah. First of all. And then like I, maybe the laying down is probably like the easiest, just because you're just flat. flat you're just yeah. flat. Yeah. Right there, you can stay as still as possible. But I think those other two, like just standing too, it's you're like. like yeah, yeah, like you're not shaking. It's crazy. It's I have crazy. so much respect Me for too. sports like this. My cousin does. Uh, my little cousin does archery oh, at yes. school too. I and I have like so, cool. so much respect because I'm like, man, if I like did this or even archery, I would be so off target. Oh. <laughs> off target. Oh, <laughs> it would terrible. be going off into the bushes yeah. or like something else. I don't. Have you guys done archery before? So I used. I when I um, when I was in middle school band. Oh. Wow. We did a <laughs> Wait. a okay. weekend at Camp Erdman. Oh, yeah. Up oh, on the North yeah, Shore. Yeah. yeah. And, like, you know, you have all the activities, whatever. You do the band practice. But then, like, on the last day, it's, like, the big, like, fun field day. So there's, like, they open up, like, all the little activities that they usually have for the campers. And one of them was archery. And so I was like, oh, you know, I've been watching. You guys ever watch uh, Arrow on the CW? Yeah, that, I have. That was, yeah. that was out at the time like it was running then so i was like i'm I that was a good Arrow. show like, check it out i can i can i can do this so i was like i lined <laughs> oh, up Kyle. and it's fr tough first shot so the so like the the target's over there and there's like a little yeah. bit of a berm but immediately afterwards is just the main road so <laughs> no. i oh, no. shot it <laughs> no, 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 no. so far out that it went over the target <laughs> Through the br the brush into the road, and I'm like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> middle school Kyle. <laughs> middle school me, I had deflated someone's tire out I had, here. <laughs> I had frosted tips. I, of I had course you did. Braces, the whole nine. I did not know how to operate my body because I went from five nine to <laughs> five ten, like or like five six to five ten in the span of a summer. So I'm like, uh, boom. shaky as hell. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, DC, he is not the Green Arrow. No, no, I'm not. I, I am not. I've done it once in my life. It's uh -huh. a lot tougher than so tough. you think because mm -hmm. you pull that string back. It's heavy. Oh, it's and a like, heavy bow. You know, looks like it. Yeah. You, yeah, like you pull it back. It's heavy. So you, I'm already trembling, and then you let it go. Mine just died. So if this was the target, like mine kind of flopped here. Like uh -huh. it didn't even make the target. So I was like, <laughs> what am I doing wrong? It's not easy. It's let not. Me just say. Um. I, but it's a lot of fun. It like, is. I would love Seems to, like to go again. H and N overtime on the road archery. Do they, do archery. They have, they have an archery like range like at like. They do, don't they? They have a bunch of. They have a couple, I think. Okay. So we'd have to go. Fun. We, you know who who would like shoot that really well? Oh no. Who? Corbin, one of our photographers, yeah. Corbin. Yeah. If you I haven't seen the stunt story that I did like last oh, month, oh yes. He <laughs> shot that very well, and he made it look super cool. That was the so best I think story. the archery one. He would the be three of us kind of doing stuff. archery yeah. would look yeah. so cool. Um, but no, yeah, archery, I think for me at least when I overshot it, I think yeah. the instructor was like, yeah, you're going to want to make like almost an arc. Like it's not a straight, like for you beginners. Like, you thought you were like, Katniss Everdeen. Yes, like Katniss go up and arc, arc it on down into the target. But instead it just flew <laughs> straight over. So, oh, well. <laughs> And then I mean, oh wow! <laughs> Someone's car could have been passing. Yeah, that would have been a, a first alert. Yeah, um, that that would have been a first alert right now. Back in middle school, whoever was working at H. Katniss Everdeen's cousin right here. Yeah, yeah. source <laughs> tells us. <laughs> Sources little say. Little boy shoots her <laughs> Roads closed. The roads closed. <laughs> well, Ky talking about it. Kyle Everdeen. Kyle Everdeen, the cousin. Well, yeah, speaking about shooting from long range. Some sharpshooters, Davis? Some sharpshooters, yeah. Kyle. Yeah? I'm talking about Caitlin Clark. Oh, the goat. <laughs> the goat herself. The goat, the goat. everyone. Uh, let me play some B-roll. Ooh. Check this out, everyone. Well, Fancy. Caitlin Clark just got endorsed. She just got a multi-year sponsorship deal with Wilson, maker of the WNBA's Wilson. official basketball. The only other athlete... Get ready for this, guys. The only other athlete to be a brand ambassador for Wilson was Michael Jordan oh. in the 1980s. The signature ball will be gold and white, 
Ooh. with personalized engravings of the Indiana Fever star. That's sick. No, that's that nice is one. so cool. She's just taking over, man, the world. And I mean, good on her because like she's putting so much eyes on the yeah, WNBA yes. in general. Yes, yes. It, this year it has literally skyrocketed, yeah. which they deserve. But yeah, yeah, like it's honestly a lot because of her. Ooh, that is, yeah, you got the name saucy. jersey. That is, I mean, so well deserved too. I mean, Could you that's just yeah. crazy. I I can't Those imagine different if she, sides of the ball. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I could imagine that, like, if she got this to. Oh, it looks like it's signed on that side. Maybe it's a printed one. But if she like actually signed it, and like, can you oh, imagine how would, much that would yeah. that would go for? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Baller. Yeah, she's a queen. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't want to sound cheesy here. <laughs> I knew that's where it was going. Yes! I, in the back of my head, I thought that's where it was going. Yes, but what's we need... cheesy, Kyle? This is that, cheesy. That was cheesy. That was cheesy. I'm sorry. But continue. But we have to talk about this. Check this out. You guys like Cheez Its? Yes. I can take some Cheez Its. I'm more of a goldfish girl, but Ooh. continue. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've always been a Cheez Its kid. I've been a little bit of Cheez Its. A little bit of Cheez Its. But. Imagine you've hit the road okay. for your first summer getaway when that cheese it craving hits. Hold oh, on, true. let me get this. At the gas station. At right. the gas station. Yeah. Yeah, let me just hits. start pointing the B roll. Oh. There, there we go. go. Oh. Oh. oh, no. But you're fresh out of your favorite cheesy, crunchy snack. Suddenly, an orange glow illuminates your path, <laughs> leading you to the ultimate destination for hungry cheese it super fans the Cheese In Diner. Oh, look at that. That's nice. look at that. That looks nice. That's not bad right I there. Would actually that's really not bad go right there. there. It's, and they're it, on skates too. You're oh, lying. it's giving that vibe. I like it. Look so at that. it's just two hours outside of New York City, um, nestled among the scenic byways of the Catskill Mountains. Um, it's a dining experience in the iconic town of Woodstock, New York, and is here to satisfy adventure seekers, road trip munchies, and late night cra ooh late night cravings. <laughs> So it's a full service restaurant. Yeah. Oh my and God. This we is do so have cool. the full menu here written yeah. out that Davis was That's so right, kind able yeah. to provide for right, us. It's, so us, it's a big us. menu. <laughs> it is a full menu. Like, I mean, it's 9 a.m., but I'm hungry. It so is. It's this. a full on diner. Like, and like, it's, you, it's legit. Always, you know, those like, <laughs> like brand experiences, it's always like those small little testers. These sound like full menu items. So let's go start off at the top. The again. extra. The extra cheeseburger, want it, need it, smash it, chomp it, oh. chomp into our pimento cheese it smash burger topped with lettuce pickles and an extra big cheese it cracker. Oh, Ooh. just one big cracker. Ooh. The one big cheese it. I'm into that. I like that. Okay, up next, the big grilled cheese. I'm a grilled cheese Ooh. girl. Ooh, yeah. it's cracker coated Texas, Texas toast? toast filled yes, with toast. Oh, yes. I love a good Texas toast Texas surrounded toast. by a crunchy cheese it cracker crust. Ooh. Okay. Next, the cheesy chicky tendies. <laughs> oh, you got me so. Yeah. Chicken tenders breaded in original cheese it crackers. <laughs> spice it with hot and spicy oh, seasoning. Ooh. And dip it in hot honey or Hidden Valley cheesy ranch. Oh, Hidden Valley. Hidden, Hidden Valley. Does every ingredient <laughs> like yes. have cheese? Oh, like, absolutely it does. Like, I'm reading these. <laughs> like, also, wow. if you're lactose intolerant, I would not suggest this yeah, restaurant. I don't think this is your option. <laughs> because right next to it is the mac and cheese it. Baked oh. pasta baked in a creamy white cheddar cheese it cracker sauce. Wait a minute, what's that? Oh, <laughs> wait, let me. Kyle, you missed the, on. the top one. It was you missed the top one. It oh, was the deluxe, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Sorry, deluxe sorry, sorry. cheese it milkshake. Yeah, tell us about yeah that, what's in I'm that? I'm a little concerned. Okay, oh, all right, wait, here we go. I'm gonna good. pause on this because I okay, believe yeah, yeah. this is it. This so, must yeah. be it. Guys, prepare your taste buds. Right. Oh no. To sip it with this indulgent milkshake. Oh. Made with your favorite cheesy, salty snack, a creamy vanilla shake blended with Cheez It crackers, mm, a caramel yeah. and crushed Cheez It cracker rim, and no. topped with whipped cream, sprinkles, and chocolate sauce, garnished with a chocolate dipped Cheez It I'm cracker. Good, uh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. That's a little I'm not too really much. sure about that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too sure about Cheese that. Cheese and chocolate and vanilla do not mix for me. I don't know if they mix with that. Uh, but sorry, the burger Kyle, looks good. The burger and fries would go crazy. Yeah, right now. burger and fries 
would probably be really good. Burger fries yeah. and a crisp Sprite. And a crisp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to miss the milkshake. I'm sorry about that, guys. No, oh, okay, continue concerning. on. We got a couple more items on this oh. menu. Just a couple Ooh, more. Oh, this one might pique my interest. Okay, All right, hit us. The it? cheese it fries. Okay. Yep, that's what we're doing. No Let's order do is complete without crispy fries tossed in ground cheese it crackers. <laughs> Choose from original white cheddar or hot and Look spicy seasoning and load it with mel- and load it with mel- with a melted pimento cheese sauce. I like that. Yeah, I like I cheese fries. Yeah. I love cheese fries. Cheese fries, cheese fries are, are very Ooh. good. And onions. Ooh. I'm in. Ooh. I'm in. Sienna, stop making me hungry. No, I'm this starving. Is too early. Yeah. It's too early. It's too early. I'm starving thinking about Oh, my about God. This. All right. And it looks like there's two more items here. We have the cheese it Biscuit. Tasty layers of burst, uh, tasty layers bursting with cheese it crackers make up this hearty biscuit. Butter it with honey butter. Drizzle it with hot honey uh, or sandwich it with our cheesy chicky tendies. We won't judge. <laughs> oh, it's giving like Chick Fil A. Yeah. All it says like we don't judge. It's yeah, we don't judge. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And the last one is a, a dessert item, much like the milkshake. Okay. Sweet and salty cheesecake. Oh, is it cheesecake? Oh, wow. Is it a pie? However you slice it, it's an absurdly creamy cheesecake dessert with a cheese it cracker pie crust topped with caramel and extra big oh, cheese it crackers. I don't crackers. know if I would like the pie crust being cheese. Yeah. Crackers. It's weird when you mix that kind of a salty with that yeah. kind of a sweet. Yeah. Because I it's, like a good cheesecake, honestly. Cheesecake is good. How many times do you think you said cheese during that whole yeah, bit, honestly, Kyle? Yeah, honestly, we should go back and count. We Someone need, count need to and make a put counter. in the comments yeah. below. Like, make a counter, The yeah. amount of times we said cheese right Absolutely. there. Um, there's also, I, could, yeah. I can dig it, though. I, I, I can too. really I dig it. This. Among yeah. the other things that we've seen with the Skittles apartment yeah. and the, the Ego... The Waffle House. The Ego Waffle, <laughs> the waffle House. <laughs> yeah, the waffle. <laughs> never get over Oh, that. my goodness. <laughs> I, at least this one is like a full... Like diner experience, yes. yeah. and at least like you can go and there's options mm-hmm. for you. It's yeah. not mm-hmm. just waffles or just skittles. <laughs> like you, you if you want the fries, you get the fries. If you're a burger girl, you get the yep. burger. I would go to New York just for this place. Oh, like, oh forget the sightseeing. Send me to the diner, everyone. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean <laughs> like, that's the only sight you, you need to see. She's like, don't you want to go see the Empire State Building? I'm showing her the story. You know, like, forget no. the Empire. That's just a building. Uh, give me some cheez Its. <laughs> no, it's right. like we're gonna go to Broadway. We got I got tickets to this show. How about we drive outside yeah. of New York <laughs> and go to the two hours forget, <laughs> forget Hamilton. All yeah. right. <laughs> we don't going. need to see Les Mis again, Mm-mm. but we need to go to the cheese at diner. Uh, yeah. I wonder how much it costs. You know, these are probably like oh, absurdly it's, it's amount. Probably. <laughs> like, Speaking of which, not to put you on the spot, Davis, but I know you oh, just what? went to Pennsylvania. Did, did you go to the go Hershey's to factory? Oh, yeah. We did not oh. um, because... Yeah, just the timing didn't work mm-hmm. out, and it was so rainy, yeah. too. Mm. So we had other things that we decided to do. We did the whole Got Gettysburg. Oh, and, oh that's uh, cool. Yes, that was kind of cool. Uh, that one was crazy because the Gettysburg tour that we did, uh-huh. the tour guide actually goes in your car. No. Wait, like a <laughs> personal car? Personal car. Wait, he, I'm yeah. like, wait, what? Um, we work in news. There he, ain't no way nobody gets in And my he car. drives the car. Wait, no. he drives your yeah. car through Gettysburg? Stop. No. Wait yep. a minute. So he was taking us around the town. I've hung out with Lynn Kawano too much to know <laughs> that someone is not driving my car. No, no, no. I know. Your, your actual, like, rented car. Rented car. That's, he takes and over. And just said, Give me the yeah. keys. He was like, give me the keys. I'm taking over. And then, like, <laughs> once you get Wait, back in, like, he adjusts the seats, the mirror. Everything's yeah. all different. Everything is all yeah, different. Yeah, <laughs> He's like, as we travel through Gettysburg, I have a playlist we got to listen to. Yeah. Dun, 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 you want to know what's dun, dun, funny, dun, dun, though? Oh, man. Uh, oh No, I have totally forgot about this. When we were walking back inside, so it was so cold. I actually brought my H&N jacket. Oh. Really? Uh, yeah, it was oh. pretty cold and rainy. It was like, I mean, it was 40s and harsh rain, um, which wasn't like too bad. <laughs> but the best part, I was going, so we did the tour uh-huh. and I was like walking back inside with Mel, my wife. And um, period. Period. I think they know that. But <laughs> I'm just saying, if you didn't know, now you know. Um, so walking back inside and the tour guide was right there and he's like, because I was wearing my jacket, you yeah. know, at H&N and he's like, Hey, I feel like I recognize you somewhere. Oh. How, like, are you on TV? Oh. 
Oh. And I'm like, uh, I mean, this Pennsylvania. Yeah. I'm like, you know, yeah. occasional Hawaii. And then all of a sudden, Mel says, "Have you seen H and N overtime?" Yeah. I'm like, Stop yeah. It. You're lying. Oh <laughs> She's my. like, "Do you watch sports podcasts?" I'm like, "Okay, Mel. All right, all right." <laughs> 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 Us, follow and the guy was like, that. yeah, I do see sports podcasts, but I don't know if he saw, like, but somehow, saw but somehow he saw it, like, you know, that. what? So look at Mel with podcast. some branding, too. She was, there we yeah. go. Yeah, our marketing crew. Yeah, so now at least one person in Pennsylvania has heard of we H&M. We're taking over. We're taking over. better watch out. We coming for y'all. Pennsylvania. <laughs> We're coming. We're the bird. <laughs> <laughs> All the way down to the All bird. the way down. <laughs> We take it so, over. That's so fun. That is I cool. Saw, that was a fun trip. Right yeah, trip. that was a fun trip. Um, yeah, no, I just brought it up because I've been to Hershey's World. Speaking oh, really? of okay. theme places, yeah. I went um, when I was younger with my parents, and That's they cool. took us. It's so much fun because you get to, like, build your own chocolate bar. So you could they have oh, all the yeah, flavors, I heard that. all the toppings, and then you can, like, choose. And then you make Ooh. your own Hershey stickers. So, like, your own cool. name in, like, the Hershey font. And um, it comes in a little bucket, and then like you. Oh, can that's actually sick. Yeah, it's so. That's pretty cool. cool. And you can just put like white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, almond sprinkles, like anything, and you Ooh. watch it like go through the process of being. Oh, made. that's cool. Super cool. So, yep. I'm all into those like theme places. Yeah, I love a good theme it's park. So fun. Yeah. Another yeah. fun Davis fact. Oh. Too. Tell us. I went to school with Christy Hershey. Who's really? a des- descendant of the Hershey's, yeah. In college or high school? High school. Elementary really? school all the way through high wow. school. No way. She did a project what presentation she like? and she gave like Hershey chocolates. Oh, everyone. that's Eris. that's a I, flex. I Eris actually right was going to ask her out to prom, <gasps> but then someone else did. <laughs> so <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Wait, cr- tell us everything. Okay. So like, <laughs> no, that was it. That literally was it. <laughs> that was literally it. No. Listen to the chocolate. Oh, no. So you like, wanted to be an heir. An heir. You wanted to take be, over the throne. You know, no. You know what's funny? She was actually saying, so I guess the Hershey family. Um, She's like, we broke. The, <laughs> no. So, so find another no, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, miss, I don't want, you know, miss speak Sorry, at all. Christy. Yeah, no, I think, uh, I guess the, the, uh, her grandpa who came up with Hershey's, uh, he gave a majority of the shares to, um, I think this charity or something. So they oh. actually own a majority of the Hershey factory. Oh, that's kind of cool though. So I mean, like, that's yeah. how they run their charity. For it. Yeah. I like if I remember correctly, this was way back in like elementary school, but oh, cool. high school, oh. high school is something. Anyways, yeah. So what I went to prom. school with Christy Hershey. Yep. That's sweet. That's yep. that's such a crazy that's a good fact. Davis fact. Yeah. I don't have facts. Another like that. Davis I don't, fact right I don't there. Either. You guys don't have any. You guys didn't go to school with. Um. With I went to school with the offensive analyst um, for the University of Tennessee now. Um, wow. And the running backs coach for them. Stanford. <laughs> yeah, why don't you tell us about that? <laughs> Everybody knows that already at this point that I went to Milani and I played with those guys. <laughs> Don't need to name them. It's okay. Legends. Legends, the my legends. boys. Um, legends. But when it comes to like themes, like at least a, like candy theme, the extent of for me at least was going to Eminem World in Vegas, <laughs> and just seeing the wall of M and M's and just picking your place. favorite colors. Even to oh, this yeah. day, I've lived there for so long, and I go back almost uh, like all the time. That's cool. I, I love a good bag of M and M's. And then like all yeah. the colors. Yes. You have to yes. Go. It's have all about the coat, colors. The coat yeah. One yes. Next door. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, fun yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. Those are, those are super fun, but yeah, I love a good theme park. I think the last time I went to like Disneyland though, I was like in middle school again with oh, the band. Yeah. Shout out the band. <laughs> you and the band, yeah. Kyle. I had a I was big in the band before I started playing football. That like That's my pretty, two worlds. What instrument a, did you play? You were Troy Bolton. A little bit of a Troy Bolton situation <laughs> Troy here. Bolton. Um, guess Davis. What do you think I played? You give me like trumpet. Oh, you, oh, you got wait, it. Is it. Did I get serious? it? You got it dead that on. That actually was wow. good. From the <laughs> jump. You played the trumpet. I, I was, was a trumpet. clarinet girl. It's our connection. You were clarinet? Yeah, I was like last seat. I was clarinet. I was Are sick. you serious? Oh, okay. Only junior junior high school. Yep. Yeah, I was yeah. in school two too. years. I did uh, it for clarinet. two years too. I did it all yep. three years of middle school and then one year in high school just so I could get my fine arts credit to graduate. Oh, yeah. And it was fun though. I liked it. It was fun, yeah. I liked it. I liked band. I, I mean, oh, look at this conversation really from Cheez Its to band. We're I mean, talking we're about a our childhood. Podcast, yeah. And then it is we a sports talking podcast. about we all did band, so there's that, guys. 
Hey, it, follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, do what, do everyone. What makes you happy, you know. And have some cheez its on have the side of that. Have some cheez its If it makes you happy, have some cheez its Have some Hershey's chocolate. Have it all. Enjoy it yep. while you're watching a game. There it is. There's the connection. That's it's crazy. And H and N overtime. And what with a connection. That, with that, I think it's time to bid farewell. Thank you so much for listening or watching this episode of H&N Overtime. To catch the full catalog of H&N Overtime episodes, you can head to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get the rest of our H&N podcasts. We got that QR code coming in somewhere over here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. He's a little shy today. Who knows? <laughs> He's a little shy? He's a, the QR code's a little shy today. Wow. But the, if you scan that QR code, you can get all of our episodes. And be sure to follow us on Instagram, H&N Overtime. No spaces. No spaces, Kyle. And that kind of wraps it up. For yes. Davis, for Sienna, I'm Kyle Chinin. Thanks so much for listening and watching. Aloha. This podcast is sponsored by Happy Warrior Kava. Be a happy warrior, drink, relax, and enjoy the strong and smooth taste of the best-selling kava in the islands. Happy Warrior Kava.